Traders, this video is an introduction to the options, data, and tools now available to you on TradingView. And these tools will only get more advanced and more comprehensive over time. For example, if you head to tradingview.com and hover your mouse over products, you'll see that we have an options product now available to you. It is currently in beta, so please keep that in mind this will only get better. Now, the first thing you will notice is that there is a strategy builder, and that is exactly what it sounds like. You get to build the option strategy that is of interest to you, depending on where you think a symbol will go next. Now, keep in mind, the exact symbol that you're creating an option strategy for can be seen right here in the search box, which we can click and we can see all of these symbols listed. Currently, there are only a specific amount of symbols listed in the search box, and over time, more symbols will be added. So we just clicked SPY, which is the S&P 500 ETF. It's rather large, and it's traded often. And now that we have this symbol selected, depending on where we think it will go next, we can build a strategy for it. If we want, we can filter for bullish strategies, neutral strategies, or bearish strategies. We will go through these strategies in a little more detail, but let us first just show you that the visual here is being calculated depending on the exact options contract you're trading. So you can see expiration date, July 19th, 2024, why don't we push this back to September 30th, 2024, and the contract suddenly adjusts because now it is calculating the trade and strategy that you are putting on for the SPY ETF dependent on a September 30th expiration date. But more importantly, we have our strike price selected of $545. Remember, this is a bullish trade. But if we want it to be even more bullish, maybe we think the S&P 500 SPY ETF will go to 600, we can do that as well, and the visual will adjust accordingly for us. Also, you get to control how big of a position you are researching or trading. So let's add 10 Let's, let's do 100 contracts. That works. We've also got Vega and the various Greeks available to you. You can learn more about that in our help center. We'll have more videos on our YouTube channel that go into them in deep detail. But for first, let us show you what the visualization is showing you just by hovering your mouse over it. The orange, orange dotted line is showing you Vega or the Greek you have selected. So if we click Theta, now the orange dotted line is showing us Theta. The blue dotted line is showing us our current P&L and the green line here is showing our expiration profit and loss. And when it's red, it's showing our expiration profit and loss. In this case, it's just a loss. That's why it's red. But it goes green once it breaks even. Now, by the way, you can see that data down here as well. Underlying price. So this is the price of the symbol, your max profit, your max loss, your win rate, and your break even rate. Keep in mind that your max loss here in this specific example, because it's a call option, it's going to cost us $40 to place this trade, and that's the maximum we can lose. But what's interesting about options is the max profit on this long call strategy is literally infinite, meaning if this symbol just kept going up forever, the essentially profit would just continue until this expiration date. So you can visualize all of this and see this data depending on the option strategy that you are looking to create. By the way, there's a create button here, which we are going to get into. But first, we do want to head over to our super charts because it's pretty important that we show you just how much options data is here for you now that it's come to TradingView. So if you go up here to the symbol search and open up the symbol search, you can actually see there's a new filter that has been shown here. It says options. We can click options and we can see the options contracts available to us. Now, as mentioned, these options contracts are only going to expand over time. You can see for now that for charting these options contracts right now, we have NSC. These are specific nifty 50 index options. So we can click this options contract and here's the contract shown to us over time. Perhaps what's rather interesting as well is that let's actually go to a daily chart is that you can change this chart and customize it and perform technical analysis on it just as you would any other chart. For example, you could draw on this chart. You could do anything you wish with all of your drawing tools, with your indicators, and as well, if you prefer not to see the chart as candlesticks, you can just do a line chart or some of the other chart types available to you. So many of you will probably find this of use or interest if you wish to chart an options contract alongside the strategy builder and calculations that you're doing about each specific options trade that you have in mind. By the way, it does get better because if we, for example, head to the Tesla symbol page, which we can type Tesla into the search box, 
Here's Tesla. Click See Overview. You'll now also see an Options button here, which we can click. And the Options button is going to show us the Options chain for Tesla. And naturally, we can change this chain by selecting specific expiration dates as needed. And if we scroll down, we'll get an implied volatility chart, also dependent on the expiration date that we select. By the way, you can overlay different implied volatility curves on top of one another. So you can get this comprehensive visual of different options trades over specific expiration dates and their implied volatility. And then, of course, there's an ATM implied volatility term structure that you can also see for this specific symbol. So now that we have shown you the basics of options on TradingView, why don't we end this video by going back to our strategy builder so that you really know how to utilize it? Because keep in mind that from the strategy builder, you can access the specific options chain for the symbol you have selected, as well as a volatility visual as well. And you can change this and layer on different volatility curves depending on the expiration date. Going back to the strategy builder, it is time though now to show you that you can create, store, and track all of your strategies. So this is a long call strategy for the S&P 500 SPY ETF. We've got our specific inputs typed in here. Let's change this size to 100. And keep in mind that when we create this contract, it is going to be created with these inputs in mind and this visual showing us the trade. So let's click create. This is a long call SPY example for our YouTube, YouTube video. Now you're going to want to make sure you write out really specific names because you can imagine if you create and save a lot of option strategies, you're going to want to make sure they have names that you can see. So before I show you some of the ways you can edit these strategies, let me just continue to add strategies, short call, example, spy, so that this way you can get a feel for the type of strategies you can track, create, and manage right from the strategy builder. So long calls, condor, spy, example. So we've now created three different strategies that we're tracking. We've got the first strategy that we made. This was the long call example that we made earlier in the video. You can see our call here, strike, expiration, size, price. We can also edit this, by the way, by clicking this little icon here to pull up the edit position menu. And we can change the strike price, the expiration date, the size. We can also click puts as well. The choice is ultimately ours. There's also the ability to modify these specific strategies, not only from editing the original inputs that you added, but also the capability to add positions to the strategy. So if you decide that this long call trade is not what you're looking for, you can click the plus sign here. Why don't we layer in a put of sorts here? So let's just layer in a put. And now we've got a call and a put in the strategy. And of course, we may want to rename it now, long call put. And now what we've done is we've just built a new strategy, managing it all from our strategy builder specifically for SPY. Keep in mind, here's our short call example. Remember, we just made this a second ago. And here's our long calls condor example as well. We just made that a second ago. Now, what is rather interesting is that you can also chart multiple strategies here and the specific options data around them, combining them onto one graphic for really complex options trades and different types of trades you're looking to manage or research. You can see here, there's this icon and that allows you to create this graphic here with different strategies all layered on at once. Now, pay close attention here because if we go to a new symbol, for example, here's Meta, previously known as Facebook, you'll see our strategy builder opens back up. And if we click create, well, why don't we go to, let's say, let's say we want to place a neutral trade. Rather interesting about options. You can trade depending on if you think things will go sideways. Long iron butterfly, click create. Let's just do Meta example. Click save. And now you can see here we have our long iron butterfly meta example. Now, if we go back to Tesla, well, guess what? We can actually also create additional strategies, but all of the strategies that we have created are essentially still going to be there. So we'll put spread Tesla example, click save. So as you can see here, this is our Tesla trade here, but let's go back to SPY and now look at our SPY trades. So we can go to meta 
Here's our meta option strategies. We can go to Tesla. Here's our Tesla option strategies. We can go to SPY. Here's our SPY option strategies. And we can add strategies to our strategy builder as much as we please by clicking the add strategy button and then selecting the strategy that we're wishing to look for. By the way, you can also build strategies from scratch. So if you don't want any input, you just want to experiment with this visual, experiment with the different inputs. We can say this, you know, let's call this a blank strategy builder test example. So this is just a, an example we're making for all of our YouTube viewers. And here we are. We have quite literally a blank strategy. We can click this plus and we can start to add in the contracts that we wish to add to this specific position and then create the visual from scratch. So ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, this is the all new options product on TradingView, which once again can be accessed from the products drop down here and clicking options. But of course you can also find these specific options data on the symbol page. Here's the S&P 500 SPY ETF. We can click options and here's an options chain. And of course, if we go to see on super charts, we can also open up here. Let's just create one giant chart here. Let's go ahead and click options. SPY options have not exactly come to the chart yet. It's still in beta coming soon. And now we can chart specific op options contracts as well as needed. So this is a 10 minute chart of bank nifty index options, July 3rd, 2024 calls. This is a new tool that is coming to all of you on TradingView and all of the members who love options. So please, we hope that you enjoyed this video. You learned something new. You're getting started with our options product. Please leave any questions or comments below. Let us know what you think. And by the way, in future videos, we are going to make additional deep dives into our option tools, how they work, what they mean, and how to get started. So thanks so much for watching.